Now that you've copied your basic t-shirt, you could do it just by measurement, but I think the first time it's easier to see where the measurements come from. So we're going to enter it in by using a rectangle. And this is pretty common to just get a spec sheet with measurements on it. So I'm going to go up to create rectangle and I'm going to start it but I'm going to switch to value and I'm going to put it on its side so that it's running lengthwise for when it gets put into a marker. So the length of my t-shirt is going to be 21 and the width of my t-shirt is going to be 36 divided by 4, which is 9. And that's the basic outline box of where your pattern is going to fill in. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Then for your neck drop, and these we all talked about on the pattern, so you can go back and review that video if you need to. But my neck drop, I'm going to create a line offset even. Oh, I didn't give it a name. Okay, create rectangle. I'm going to switch to value first, start it, and I'm going to enter the distance for the length again at 21 and a fourth of the circumference at 9 and say OK. So I'm going to give it a name and this is going to be t-shirt 1 map and I want you to turn the map in too so make sure you save it. says what it is right there. So create a line offset even. Select the line to offset. I want to select the reference location this time. I'm going to add it. I'm not replacing and I want all three boxes checked. So for my shoulder drop I want to come down 1.25 say OK I'm going to switch to value on all of these so it's a negative number you can see that by looking at the screen negative 1.25 And you can tell that because it's plus is out, minus is in. If that changes, you've got that little cheat mark there. My back neck drop and my front neck drop, I'm going to put in from that same line. And I probably don't need a reference location for a while. Okay, so I'm going to offset the same line. And this time I'm going to be negative 1, and that's my back neck drop and the next one is my front neck drop and I'm going to put in negative 3.5. I could have gone with 3 but I want 3.5. And I need the bust level is 9.5 inches down from the high point of shoulder. So all of these measurements are from the high point of shoulder. Negative 9.5 and my waist is 17 inches down. And 
and we already have the bottom edge. So I've got my shoulder drop and now I need where the bottom of my armhole is going to be and that is coming from the top and dropping 8 inches. Those are my vertical lines, and I'm going to stop there just for the convenience of YouTube space, and we'll resume with our horizontal lines.